This is Sam Tickle here with Race of Use. We are back for round six of the 2019 Belgian Rally Championship with the 60th edition of the Umloop van Flandern. This rally will be held over one and a half days uh, in and around Ruzelara. And I think we could be up for a bit of weather. There's a 40% chance of rain tonight and we've had rain in the region over the last few days. So tomorrow, uh, it could be anyone's guess. But Chris Princeton is back after his uh, unfortunate exit before the WRC uh, Rally Germany where he crashed the uh, Citroen C3 WRC, sorry, Citroen DS3 WRC. But he is back uh, for this round in Rizalara and he has a healthy championship lead. Also in the BMR squad uh, is Peter Krakow who also took to uh, Rally Germany and had a fairly solid outing. But importantly for the championship, Cedric Surratt is not here. It does appear he has run out of money. So it's now a two horse race really between Chris Princeton and Adrian Fenemont for the uh, San Marazan. Uh, team in the Skoda. Now Fenomont is in the older generation Skoda against the new uh, new Volkswagen that Princeton drives and has driven so successfully this year. So that's one to watch. We certainly can't count out Fenomont. And with the last two rounds of this championship then taking place in Wallonie in uh, his home run, Fenomont's home, home events. You know, he's still very much in with a shout. Also, in other big news this weekend, uh, Patrick Snyes is out of the Volkswagen Polo R5 and back into his fantastic sounding RGT Porsche that he campaigned so successfully over the last couple of years. Snyes never really gelled with the four wheel drive R5 machine and preferring uh, the more fun, although never going to compete on it absolute outright pace but uh, he still could be a top five contender in this car a car that he knows so well and is such a great great sounding car very very popular with the fans of course this weekend we see more than just the Belgian rally championship with uh, the Dutch championship here and also the two European rally cup so there's a few extra names and extra faces around this weekend and a lot, in fact, a lot of minis. Uh, as the 60th anniversary of the mini, and it's the 60th uh, anniversary of this particular rally. So there's lots of British drivers over from uh, from the UK, obviously, to compete in in those fantastic little cars. So we'll keep an eye on those through the weekend. Also, we're going to see a fantastic battle in the historic. We've got a bunch of old Porsches here. And we also see Paul Liata uh, back in his Opel Skona. He actually he had a fairly big crash here last year uh, when he uh, hit a bit of gravel that had just been put down in a very unexpected place by uh, the car before him. Um, so he hit a concrete barrier, had some damage, everyone was fine, and this car was able to be very easily repaired. But he'll be looking to make amends for that. And here we see uh, the young in the only Hyundai R5 in the field in the Dutch Championship. Uh, he is one of the front runners for that. He probably won't be contending for the outright victory, but he's really probably not aiming for that anyway. Preferring instead to concentrate on winning the Dutch title. Also in the R2s, it's probably Timo and Rebecca van der Marl will be uh, famous for the victory. With uh, Munster not competing here this weekend, these guys have shown very well all year, uh, should be favourites for a victory. And so while the Porsche category will probably be led by Schneiders uh, in his return to the championship in that machine, there are, I think there are about 10 Porsches here in the uh, RGT category this weekend. We see another three here. So these roads really are made for these cars. It's uh, farming roads, shire roads. So a lot of 
your 90 degree corners tarmac so you can cut but it's really point and squat so these guys should should be able to make a, an entertaining battle amongst the RGT category. So we have about, uh, I believe about 17 uh, R5 cars here this weekend. Again, the majority are Skodas, as is the usual norm. But another development is that uh, the Citroen C3 R5 has gone for the crew and oil team, preferring to take a new uh, Fiesta R5 Evo that they uh, picked up in uh, Rally Germany. Uh, the J Motorsport team, had, I believe, have just lost patience trying to get their recalcitrant C3 to do what they needed to do. So they made a made a decision to get the new Fiesta R5, the first one that we see in Belgium. In fact, it was Camille that uh, rallied one as a VIP car in Ypres at the last round of the Belgian Rally Championship. So it's interesting to see how these guys go uh, in their first rally, the first rally of the Belgian Championship. First time we really see it running a national competition for the new Fiesta R5. So we will keep an eye on that one through the weekend. Also seeing plenty of BMWs here this weekend. And this one uh, of uh, six uh, is uh, bound to be uh, one of the favorites having taken a very good a win in fact in the historic competition in Ypres it will be uh, one of the favorites and should should be a f running a fairly short odds for the outright win in in historic this weekend an interesting note uh, to prove how much this region loves rallying and supports this sport one of the mayors of the regions is actually competing in a historic BMW this weekend. So it's uh, how we see 125 cars in this event, which is really looking to grow as it takes on uh, additional competitions with the TER and, and the Dutch Championship. So it's... So we see 125 competitors here this weekend. Um, and here with uh, the moustache, the very, very popular Opel Ascona 400 of Paul Iata. One, one of the favourites certainly here this weekend. This guy will be very, very difficult to beat. We haven't seen him so much in Belgian competition this year. But this car is very rapid. He has not lost any of his pace. And so we can expect some very, very good times. We also see plenty of escorts. Will they be able to do anything this weekend? Probably not competitive against the machine, but they will put on a very, very good show. And this Ford is also not to be discarded in the historic category. Uh, Dr. Rowe and Eddie Smith have been very, very competitive so far this year in this car. And the car also proves to be quite reliable. So, uh, it should be on people's shortlist. Whether it's probably good enough to, to really win Historic Outright this weekend is, is unknown, but as for their championship chase, they're, they're, they have something in mind and it's a solid call. But it's really, really hard to look some of past some of these Porsches. If we just have a look at this one here, they have such massive row presence and you know you're going to hear them for a very, very long time out on stage. So if you're in the Ruzelara area or uh, really anywhere in, you know, Flanders, northeastern France, Netherlands, it is really going to be worth the trip here this weekend. But we at Race of Views will bring you coverage throughout the weekend. If it's rains, come rain, hail or shine, and we'll be out there watching the cars, we'll be in the media zones. We'll be there to bring you the, the news and the commentary as it happens. So uh, keep up to date. Check us out at www.raceviews.com. And here is to a good Umlupan Flandern.